welcome and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be budgeting my paycheck number one um, I have already obviously started using it because I got paid last week but we're gonna go ahead and update everything in the budget planner today my budget planner today and I'm using some um, paycheck budget stickers by the caffeinated Kate on Etsy and I have really been enjoying her stickers guys like they are very um, high quality and she ships, ships very fast. I'm still new putting stickers down, so I take my little time or whatever. But um, <laughs> she ships her products very fast. Um, I actually went ahead and bought the products, the budgeting um, sticker kit products for May already. So not May, what am I saying? For March. So yeah, they're really good quality, really good products, and um, definitely adding some color to my budget. It has certainly helped me stay more consistent with it. So, you know, if you're looking for a way to be kind of consistent with your budget, I I would recommend adding some some type of color to it, whether it's stickers or inserts or something. Um, and just a disclaimer, I am a beginner budgeter. I'm not an expert at all so um i just started budgeting in like summer 2019 but i was not consistent with it and i didn't start being that consistent until last summer so yeah there's that so for paycheck one my two income sources will be <clears throat> my teacher salary and i am a special ed teacher in texas if this is your first time watching my videos and then I will also get um, paid from affiliate marketing within these two weeks. I mean, I go outside the lines and I will um, fix my lines and then come back. Okay, so I zoomed y'all in a little bit. So I hope um, that's a little easier to see. So for my teacher salary, my expected income was $17.40. That was what I expected. And so I do the zero based budgeting method, but I round the dollars. The actual was 1780. And so that gave me uh, an extra $40. My online income, I do keep that um, private. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the totals. Let me try to put it as even as I can. All right, so we have, um, I'm gonna just leave, or put 1740 even though I'm going to leave that blank and then make this 1780 and then I'm going to um, come back and we will fill in my bills and some other expenses. I have filled in all of my expenses um, from this paycheck so I'm going to go ahead and fill in the amounts with you. So my tithe was 225 and I just want to um, take a moment and thank everybody for all of your nice comments after my little rant in my last cash envelope stuffing video about the tides. Um, I feel extremely supported by um, several of you. It really wasn't many people that had a negative comment about it, but you know, I just definitely wanted to address it. And I so appreciate everyone who said something so nice and supportive um, in the comments. I read all of the comments, so I just want y'all to know I appreciate y'all. Okay, so my tides, the due date was 2-3, storage was also 2-3, rent was 2-3. I got paid on the third, so I get paid um, bi-weekly, so if you get paid yeah, I get I get paid bi-weekly, so it's never on a specific day. Um, it's just every other Wednesday. So I don't get paid on like the 1st and the 15th. It's just 
whatever day Wednesday falls on. And that lends itself, you know, sometimes to me having to be um, creative <laughs> with, with my budget sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the um, actual amounts with my green little pen here. I have no idea. I think I got these from my school. Um, but yeah, I don't know where they came from. But I'm actually excited about this part because I never... Well, last month was my first month doing my budget like this. And I didn't get to like fill in this section with y'all. You only got to see the expected part. So I think I'm going to keep it like this where I wait a few days. Because again, I got paid last week, so I could have been doing this. But um, I think I am going to wait a few days before uploading the budget video after I get paid just so that you all can actually see like, you know, actual and and um, what was expected and what was actual. So I guess I can go ahead and just put a plus in these categories because this is what I paid. Those are already paid. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my revolving cash envelope. So for home, I gave myself 20. For spending, I gave myself one, wait a minute. Okay, 20, let's do it like this. I budgeted for 50, but I ended up giving myself 100. So I'm going to Put that there just so i can remember for gas i gave myself 75 for groceries i budgeted 60 but i ended up giving myself 75 and then for medicine i budgeted um 10 and I gave myself 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in these amounts. I love using red and green um, in my budget. And do a plus here, plus there, plus there. And then I'm going to go with negative 50 here and then negative 15 here. Funds, I budgeted 120, but I actually put in more, which ugh, I'm not sure if that should be red or green because technically it's a good thing that I put more, but it is over budget. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in red, that's fine. But yeah, so for sinking funds, I actually did 10 plus 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 20, plus five, plus 20, plus 10. So I actually did one, is that right? Yes, 135. Oh, and we'll put it in red, even though it's a good thing. But I miss the colors. I haven't, um, what's that, 15? Yeah, I haven't had like the red and green colors in my budget since December, so. I'm glad to have these colors back, y'all. Makes me so happy. Okay, to help me get to the zero base budget, I'll then go ahead and total up all of my expenses and see what I'm left over with. And with whatever I am left with, I split it in half. I put half of it toward um, cash envelope stuffing as in like rollover money from my checking account. And then the other half will go toward my savings account. So let's see. So I'm gonna go. 225 plus 99 plus 300 plus 75 plus 10 plus 20 plus 100 75 75 10 135 so my total expenses for this paycheck is $1,124 so now what I'm going to do is um, subtract it from my paycheck. So hope I remember that number, 1124 
1780 minus 1124 leaves me with 656. So this is how much money I have left over after paying all of my bills and taking care of my expenses. So now what I'm gonna do is divide that in half. So that means that 328 would go toward stuffing my cash envelopes and I probably will stuff less than that, but um, I really kind of make that decision when I get closer to that time. But just to set up the budget, I just go ahead and just split it right in the middle. Um, so I'm gonna go 328 here and 328 here. And again, because it is whatever is left over from my paycheck, this is not something that I budget for. I can't like, well, I mean, I can, but I, I typically don't budget for it. I just wait to see whatever is left over and then I end up splitting that in half. So once I recalculate everything, 225, 99, 300, 75, 10, 20, 100, 75, 75, 10, 135, 328, 328. I am left with, or I, I get the balance of 1780, which is what I started with. So that's the purpose of this budgeting method is to have every dollar accounted for. And like I said, I don't um, budget with change and you totally can if that's your thing, but I don't. And I just try to get the dollars to match at the end. So this is what I'm left with. So next thing I'm gonna do guys is go through and just check off what bills I've paid and then do like my little weekly check-in for you all and that will be the end of the video. So rent has been paid, storage, Netflix, and phone. So we are halfway through the bills for this month. Next I'm gonna do my weekly check-in. My little pouch where I keep my cash envelopes for the um, revolving funds that I have. So I'm gonna put them in order because they are never in order. And then we'll see what we spent. Home, gas, medicine, groceries, and spending. Okay, put that to the side. So in home, I guess I should, well no, I'll put that, I'll count first. So I have 20 in home. And I gave myself 20 for home, so I have not spent anything in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put zero and that I still have 20 remaining. Um, in gas, I have 20, 45 left. And I started with 75. So 75 minus 45 means that I spent $30 and I have $45 left for gas. And I, I don't do like, um, I usually only do weekly check-ins when I do my paycheck budgets. So I'm just not sure if y'all would be interested in a solo video of check-ins. So I just try to include it in here. Oh, and I'm doing the third through today is the ninth that I'm filming. So that's the days that I'm doing. So medicine, I gave myself 10 and I still have 10. So I have not spent anything in there. And let's see, groceries, I gave myself 75 and I have $15 left. So 75 minus 15. So I spent $60 and I have 15 left. And then spending is last. I gave myself $100 and I have 50. 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. I have $84 left. So 100 minus 84 
is 16 so I've spent $16 and I have $84 left in spending so that's what I'm looking like with the uh, cash envelopes so I'm gonna go ahead and total these really quickly and see what I have so 30 um, plus 60 plus 16 so I've spent $106 and remaining I have 20, 45, 10, 15, 84. I have $174 left. So that is going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for coming back um, for another video on my channel. Thank you so much for all of your love and encouragement and support. Um, all your questions as well. I really appreciate it. And I will see y'all in a couple more days for that cash exchange. Bye.